In our last episode, we learned how to divide fractions and mixed numbers. And we did that by multiplying by the reciprocal. So we changed the second fraction into uh, its reciprocal and multiply. We're gonna do something along those lines with this lesson today. We are solving equations. So in other words, we're trying to find a value for a variable, but there are going to be fractions in these problems. And sometimes the fractions are gonna be right alongside those, uh, those variables. So here is the general rule that we need to follow. When we have a fraction or actually any number, when we multiply it by a variable, we are gonna multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this number, of this coefficient. And here's why. We need to get rid of it. When we had a simple problem such as 2x equals uh, 6, and we divided both sides by 2 to get rid of that. So in other words, we changed this into a 1. What we're doing, such as in this problem right here, 2 thirds x equals 14, we need to change that into a 1. The only way we can change them to 1, we use the multiplicative inverse that we learned a couple lessons ago. And that is flipping this and multiplying it. Okay, so here's how we will do this. We see we have 2 thirds times x. We are going to multiply this fraction by 3 halves. Why? Because when we multiply these two numbers together, we get what? We get 6 over 6, which is 1. And that's what we want, is the 1 in front of our x. But whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply by 3 halves. Now let's start solving this. Like we said here, 3 halves, or 3 times 2, you don't, eventually you're not going to have to do this step. 6 6 x. And then we have a whole number multiplied by a fraction. So remember, we just put that whole number over one. Now we can multiply. We're not dividing this, we are multiplying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce first because it makes it easier. So we're going to start getting some big numbers here. So I notice that I have an even number in the numerator and denominator. So I'm going to divide each one by two. So two divided by two is one. 14 divided by two is seven. Now I can multiply straight across. Seven times three is 21. One times one is one. So now let's simplify even farther. We have six six, which is a one. We have one X over here. 21 divided by one is just 21. And whenever we have a one X, we don't need the one, it's just assumed. So in other words, one times X is just X. So X equals 21. Let's do another one. I'm gonna make a comment about this. Sometimes you will see equations, fractions, and then it's multiplied by the X, two thirds and the X is off to the side here, two thirds times X. Sometimes you will see the x kind of combined in the numerator. Those mean the exact same thing. So here in this particular problem, I have five and then I have the x and that's all over six. This is exactly the same as five, six and having the x off to the side. Those are exactly the same. You are going to see them interchangeably, both in the problems that I give you and everywhere else in the world. Okay, so we have a fraction, five, six times X. We are going to multiply by the reciprocal. So what we are going to do is we are gonna multiply each side by six fifths. Now we can start multiplying. This we get, you may need to do this step 30 over 30. Some of you may just need to may just say, I know that's eventually going to be a one. I'm just going to leave it off. You can if you want. You don't have to show this up. I just am. Now I have four times six fifths. 
To multiply a whole number times a fraction, we put the whole number over one, make that an improper fraction. Now we can look to see if we can't simplify early. I'm looking at, I got a four and a six on the numerator and a one and a five. There, there's nothing common there. So I am just going to multiply across. So four times six is 24. One times five is five. Let's simplify more. So we know that 30 over 30 is the same as one. So I'm left with X equals 24 fifths, or you can change it to a mixed number if you want to. In this case, this would be four and four fifths. You don't have to, unless it says in the direction specifically. So 24 fifths is the answer or four and four fifths. Now look at this. Like I said, we were, we've been working with fractions as our coefficient. Here we have a number, just a plain old whole number as our coefficient. So you might think, I'm just gonna divide by two. And then you have to divide one third by two. And that gets like, okay, where do I put it in the, in the division box? So we're gonna do the same thing. Since I know that I have fractions somewhere in here, we're gonna do the same thing. We are going to multiply by the reciprocal of two. So remember from the last lesson when we talked about reciprocals, if you have a whole number and you wanna find the reciprocal, Remember, we can always write it with two over one, and then we change, we flip it. So the reciprocal of two is one half. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by one half. So one half times two, I'm gonna just make that two over one just to look at it. So now I can say that this is gonna be one, eventually two over two, it's going to reduce to one, which means I don't need it. I can just go to the X. Now I'm going to look at my multiplication of my fraction. Do I have any things uh, that I can divide out from the numerator denominator? Well, I got some ones and then I got a three to two in the denominator, I can't. So one times one is one, three times two is six. So my answer is X equals one sixth. So I know solving equations can get kind of confusing and even now with uh, fractions and things like that, it can get a little more confusing. Just practice, practice, practice.